please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Madam Clerk, we call the roll. Mr. Smalls? Here. Mr. Ricks? Here. Ms. Nicholas? Here. President Crary? Here. Agenda item number five would be the approval of the minutes of the 12th meeting, May 30th, 2012. We're going to postpone that approval until the next meeting of the Mayor and City Council on Monday, July 9th. Uh, agenda item number six is the report of the mayor and city council. Mr. Smalls? I have no report, Madam President. Mr. Ricks? Yes, I'd like to um, wish, uh, have send the council's best wishes to uh, Pat Hay for her father being ill. And um, I'm told he is doing better up in uh, West Virginia. And um, so we look forward to having him back in the city very soon. I'd like to also acknowledge the uh, street, uh, main, excuse me, C Street Art Festival, which I attended on Saturday. It was late, but I did get there. And this is an example of the fine work that um, the people down on C Street do in the pottery department. I'm very fond of pottery. <coughs> I know it looks like a teapot, but I'm going to use it for a gravy boat. <laughs> so I encourage them to do the same thing next year. And I think it was well attended. I talked to a couple merchants on Main Street. And uh, they were very happy that they had new customers stop in. And so, again, we're bringing attention to the Main Street area and hope that they do well in that. That's all. Thank you. Ms. Nicholas. Donna and I, too, attended the um, Arts Festival. It was very nice. Um, we also, on Friday, we did the bike decorating. So I had the opportunity to decorate um, the Laurel Police Officers couple of their bikes so I think I think that was the only time I could get away with something like that putting pink ribbon on their bicycle seat also we attended the uh, relay for life Saturday and I actually went back at midnight and did the traditional soul train line dance so I'm glad I'm hoping no, no reporter saw me dance <laughs> and on Sunday I attended the uh, Laurel Fair which was uh, very nice and that concludes my report thank you I just wanted to give an announcement too that the next regular meeting scheduled for Monday, June 25th is canceled due to the MML convention. The next regular meeting of the Mayor and City Council will be on Monday, July 9th with a work session starting at 6 p.m. and the regular meeting starting at 7 p.m. In addition to the events that uh, Ms. Nicholas and I attended, Mr. Smalls and I attended with the Mayor the Laurel High graduation. And it doesn't matter how many graduations you've been to, I always get a little teary-eyed at the different speeches. It's always very moving. Friday night, I attended the uh, bike decorating put on Parks and Recs, uh, Mr. Lotsky's department, and there was 36 entries this year. Some very <coughs> excited children. It was good stuff. Uh, on Sunday, I attended the um, photo op by the Sweet Adelines at the train station here in Laurel. And I hope to look that good when I'm that age. And this Friday night will be the Muppets at Granville Goody Park, the movie. Thank you, Mr. Lasky, for that. Moving on, we're going to uh, open the general public hearing. There's a speaker list with, uh, if you wish to speak over here. And the president has the right to limit the amount of time of each speaker uh, for each agenda item to two minutes. I'll open the general public hearing at 7.07. I have no one signed up for the general public hearing. Is there anyone wishing to speak? I'll close the general public hearing at 7.08. Agenda item number eight is the consideration of a recommendation to approve a contract for a concrete floor and footings for a storage facility at the park and rec maintenance facility. Mr. Lotsky. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, uh, Council. 
Um, as discussed at our last uh, work session, this is a contract for concrete uh, flooring and footings for our 35 by 60 storage building that we're going to be installing at the parks and maintenance facility. Um, in preparation for this erection, we're responsible for that concrete floor and footings. We provided the engineered stamp drawings to three companies and asked for a proposal from each one. They are as follows. LCCI Construction Management out of Berwyn Heights uh, with a price of $43,500. Russo's Construction Company out of Spencerville, Maryland with a price of $46,950. And Delaney Concrete Company out of Elkridge did not pr provide a uh, price as of the writing of this memo. Uh, background, we had some funding through an ordinance 1735 in the FY 2012-2017 CIP under PNR maintenance facility. Our recommendation is um, we've done business with LCCI Construction Management and Russo's Construction Company and have been pleased with their work in the past. Um, again, Delaney Concrete Construction did not provide a uh, bid, bid at the uh, writing of this memo. They did come in later and they were lower. However, uh, we didn't think it was fair to, uh, to, to the other companies that provided a, a proposal on time before this writing. Um, and we did have staff take a look at their proposal and there was some holes in it so we felt like it was not one that we wanted to come back with you guys to talk about. So, Therefore, I recommend that the Mayor and City Council approve the bid supplied by LCCI Construction Management for $43,500. Thank you, Mr. Lasky. As stated, this item was discussed at the work session on June 6, 2012. What's the pleasure of the Council? Madam President. Mr. Ricks. I uh, move that we grant the uh, contract to create the floor for the storage facility to LCCI construction in the amount of 43500 Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Madam Clerk? Mr. Ricks? Aye. Mr. Smalls? I vote yes. Ms. Nicholas? Yes. President Crary? Yes. <coughs> Agenda number nine is a consideration of a recommendation on the grass cutting contract. <coughs> Mr. Lotsky. Yes, Madam President. Again, as discussed at the last work session, this is a uh, contract for grass cutting at several of our larger parks. We've uh, done this for the last eight or nine years, and it enables staff to take care of some other uh, park projects and right-of-way projects and building projects. And uh, typically, we've, uh, we've had contracts for Alice B. McCullough Field, Granville Goody Park, Cypress Street Athletic Field, to include the Robert J. DePetro Community Center grounds. Um, those contracts included 24 cuts and usually started July uh, with our fiscal year and ended at the end of June. Um, we advertised the bid through the Prince George County Sentinel, uh, our web page, and also our cable channel. Uh, three companies picked up bids, however, only one provided a bid, and that was New Image Landscaping out of Elkridge, Maryland for $24,885. Um, upon reviewing that bid and uh, asking Mr. Manzi to review the bids, we found there was some discrepancies and we were not comfortable with uh, just receiving one bid. And at this time, we'd like to recommend that the Mayor and City Council reject the bid. And our plan is to uh, go back to several landscape companies, ask for a request for proposal, and um, see if we can get um, a number of companies bidding on it that way. They, they do, we're not comfortable with their bonding process, and Mr. Manzi, I think, explained that very well at the work session. This item was discussed at the work session. What's the pleasure of the council? Madam President. Mr. Ricks. I agree with Mr. Lotsky that and as we discussed at the work session that we uh, deny the bid at this particular time and go back out for rebidding. Okay. Do I have a second? A second. Thank you, Ms. Nichols. Madam Clerk. Mr. Ricks. Aye. Ms. Nicholas. Yes. Mr. Smalls. Uh, Mr. Lasky, I think it's important to, to also mention that during the time that uh, you're seeking uh, new bids that there will still be some, uh, the grass cutting will still be taken care of by our, our, our current contractor. That's correct, uh, yes, sir. Thank you, and with that I vote yes. President Query. Yes. <clears throat> Agenda item number 10 is the consideration of a recommendation for contract LA-12-04. Bowie Road Improvements. Recommendation is presented by Paul McCulloch tonight. Thank you, Paul. <coughs> Good evening, Madam President and Council Members. The uh, Bowie Road project is that section of Bowie Road that runs from one, Route 197 to the uh, Rescue Squad area, thereby Lafayette Avenue. 
uh, prior to the county recognizing that uh, that section of the road actually belonged to the city of Laurel, they did some improvements and they put some sidewalks on the southern side. It's, there's like three sections and then there's some gaps. This project is to complete complete all the sidewalks on the southern side from Route 197 up to the rescue squad to include uh, curb and gutter on both sides of the road and then repave and do some deep deep patching where the where there are potholes and where some of the sub bases already deteriorated. Uh, we had a uh, bid opening on Thursday of last week. There were uh, six companies that provided bids for us on this project. The, the bids ran from $196,215 from NCI Construction Corporation in Bellsville to uh, $381,510 from Rose Contracting Inc. Uh, we have done work with uh, NCI. We're comfortable with the, uh, with the quality of their, of their work, and, uh, and they have been determined to be the lowest uh, legally sufficient bid that was submitted for this project. Funding for this project is in CIP fiscal year 2012, and it provides fund funding from, actually there's three sources of funding that will be used on this. Uh, there is, uh, the county has provided some funding from the um, CDBG community um, development block grant. We have uh, uh, almost $100,000 that comes from the county on that. There's some money that comes out of the uh, current bond funding that's, that's been approved, and then the balance will come out of uh, some curb and gutter project money, which comes out of the general operating budget identified in the, in the CIP. So it is our recommendation that the Mayor and City Council of Laurel award the subject contract to NZI Construction Corporation for their low bid of $196,215. Thank you, Mr. McCall. This item was discussed at the work session on June 6, 2012. What's the pleasure of the council? Madam President, I move for approval of uh, the bid recommendation for NZI Construction Corporation for $196,215 as presented by Mr. McCullough. Thank you, Mr. Smalls. Do I have a second? Second with a question. Do we have to adopt the other financial package that he has explained, or is this just for this bid alone? Just for this bid? Just for this bid. Okay, fine. My second stands. Madam Clerk? Mr. Smalls? I vote yes. Mr. Ricks? Yes. Ms. Nicholas? Yes. President Crary? Yes. Agenda item number 11 is a consideration of a recommendation for fleet acquisition refuse packer and a 10-ton dump truck truck good evening again uh, Department of Public Works is recommending the purchase of one 25 cubic yard refuge truck otherwise known as a a, a trash trash truck that's uh, and one 10 ton dump truck with snow plow and salt spreader uh, annually in the CIP we have uh, one of the one of the projects in the CIP each year is fleet replacement uh, this, uh, these two items are both part of the fleet replacement program. Prior to going out and making a recommendation for purchase of any, any, of, the co any of the vehicles in the fleet replacement program, uh, Public Works goes out to identify, we seek to identify any contracts that are currently in effect with other government agencies. Uh, typically, the county, the state, have they buy a lot more of these vehicles than the city of Laurel does where we buy one season of something, they may buy tens or 20. And uh, they're able to, they do a, a, a competitive bid process on these, these, these contracts and are able to get a better price for them because of the volume. And then other, other municipalities like Laurel are able to ride these contracts when we have a vehicle need that matches something that they're on order. So we went out and, and found that um, that uh, Prince George's County has a um, has a contract. Um, it's contract number PP one one zero six five nine. It's it's uh, with Freightliner Refuge Truck Company, and Calvert County Maryland has a a contract number two zero one two two five four four for a ten ton dump dump truck with salt spreader, 
And so we were able to ride both of these these contracts, and I feel get a, a very competitive price on these two, two vehicles. Funding for these vehicles is provided in the FY 2012-13 CIP under FL7-001 Fleet Replacement Program with using bond monies that have been recently approved. The cost of the refuge truck is $158,322, and the 10-ton dump truck is $116,983. It is therefore recommended that the Mayor and City Council award the purchase of these two vehicles for a total cost of $275,305 using the government contracts that have previously been mentioned. I just might add that uh, both of these vehicles uh, that are being replaced, the, the refuge truck, it's been, uh, we've already had to take, we've salvaged parts of it, it's, it's really not usable. Uh, we've looked at trying to get a trade-in. The trade-in value is, is so minimal that it's actually worth more to us in parts. And then when we've got all the parts that we can salvage off of it, we'll just salvage the rest of it for, for uh, uh, junk metal. Thank you. This item was discussed at the work session on June 6, 2012. What's the pleasure of the council? <coughs> Madam President. Mr. Ricks. I move that we purchase the two vehicles that Mr. McCullough has described in the amount of $275,305. Thank you, Mr. Ricks. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Smalls. Madam Clerk? Mr. Ricks? Aye. Mr. Smalls? I vote yes. Um, Ms. Nicholas? Yes. President Crary? Yes. Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk. Go forward with 12 or wait a little longer. Okay. Next on the agenda is a second public hearing on ordinance number 1747, an ordinance to approve the revitalization overlay area number six, conceptual site plan and landscape plan for C Street. Flats formerly known as 350 Municipal Square and providing an effective date. Mr. Brendel. Thank you, Madam President and members of the Council. Revitalization Overlay Application Number 06 01 2012 was filed on March 29th, 20, excuse me, 2012 by Klingbill Capital Management Limited, requesting conceptual approval for a revitalization overlay plan to redevelop the property at 350 Municipal Square by providing new multifamily units and retail commercial space. On May 7, 2012, a copy of the application letter was sent to the City of Laurel Department of Parks and Recreation, Public Works, Police Department and City of Laurel Fire Marshal's Office, Office of Planning, the Washington Suburban Sanitary Commission, the Prince George's County Health Department, the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission, the State Highway Administration, and the Prince George's County School Board. On May the 7th, the City of Laurel Department of Parks and Recreation submitted a response stating the department had no comments regarding the request at this time. A response from WSSC dated May 17, 2012 was received stating the impact of the project would be negligible. A response dated May 21st was received from the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission stating that the commission had no objection to the application. No other agency responses were received. Under date of May 4th, 2012, a letter advising of the public hearing dates of May 30th and June 5th and the possible final public hearing of June 11th was sent by certified mail to the applicant, the property owner, and all contiguous property owners. All return receipts were received. File contains a certif certificate of publication verifying that this application and public hearing was advertised in the May 31st and June 7th editions of the Prince George's Sentinel. A memorandum of the City of Laurel Planning Commission, dated June 6, 2012, reads as follows. At the regular meeting the City of Laurel Planning Commission held on June 5, 2012, following action was taken on the subject zoning application, a motion by Mrs. Bettman and seconded by Mr. Kish, carried on a roll call vote of all members present. The Planning Commission recommended that the Mayor and City Council approve revitalization overlay application number R06-1-2012 with the conditions as listed in the technical staff report. 
file contains an affidavit signed this date by the applicant that a zoning sign has been placed in the subject property and has remained and shall remain until a decision is reached by the mayor and city council. And that concludes the reading of the file, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Brenda. I'll open the public hearing at 723. I have one person signed up to speak. Thank Good you, evening. Madam. Thank you, Madam President and members of the council. I'm Abby Chesler, and I'm the owner of the building at 29 C Street, uh, across the across the way from um, the property that were being talked about. But for I just wanted to take one moment before I uh, make my one or two comments. And really, as one of the organizers and planners of the C Street Arts Festival, I want to thank the city, the city council, the public works department, really everyone in the city that helped to make the festival possible. Um, through sponsorship and providing services. It really was a true success. Our artists uh, had a terrific, uh, successful day selling many of their wares. And uh, based on what our food vendors sold and um, the traffic that we saw, we think we had about 400 uh, visitors to the arts festival this year. So if we're the committee's gonna take a week off and then start planning for next year. <laughs> <laughs> after we take a week off. Um, but in regards to uh, the property that's being planned uh, for C Street Flats, um, my only uh, comment that I wish to make on the record is that um, where appropriate, I would like to see some consideration given to the streetscaping along C Street and some consideration given to the setback of the building so that there's room for streetscaping, cafe tables, et cetera, things like that. Um, and also, if appropriate, uh, to ask for a connection from the end of C Street down to the park. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have anyone else signed up to speak. Is there anyone wishing to speak on this item? If not, I'll close the public hearing at 725. What's the pleasure of the council as far as a motion to adopt as amended? Madam President. Mr. Rick. So move. Thank you, Mr. Ricks. Do I have a second? A second. Thank you, Ms. Nicholas. Madam Clerk. Mr. Ricks. Aye. Ms. Nicholas. Yes. Mr. Smalls. I vote yes. President Crary. Yes. <coughs> Agenda item number 13 is the second public hearing on Charter Resolution number 154, the first 2012 annexation and annexation resolution to amend the Charter of the City of Laurel by the addition thereto of section number 247 entitled the first 2012 annexation, providing for the annexation of all the land included within part of the property of Strip Matter, Strip Matter Land LLC recorded in the land records of Prince George's County, Maryland, at Lieber 14203, folio 674, containing approximately 39.8671 acres of land. Part of parcel A, owned by the State Highway Administration of the Department of Transportation by deed, dated February 6, 2012, and recorded among the land records of Prince George's <coughs> County, Maryland, and Lieber 33335 at folio 097, containing approximately 16.7636 acres of property, as well as part of parcel A, owned by the State Highway Administration of the Department of Transportation by deed dated February 6, 2012, and recorded among the land records of Prince George's County, Maryland, and at Lieber 33335, at folio 097, containing 3.1279 acres of land, as well as part of the property of Strip Matter Land, LLC, recorded among the land records of Prince George's County, Maryland, and, and Lieber 14203, at folio 674, containing 2.5467 acres of land, the 39.8671 acres of land, to be placed in the MXT zone with the remainder of the property to be placed in the PI zone. I've read the title into the record for the second reading. I'll open the public hearing at 728. I have no one signed up to speak. Is there anyone wishing to speak? I'll close the public hearing at 728. 
This is scheduled um, for the Mayor and City Council meeting on July 23rd, 2012 at 7 p.m. Agenda item number 14 is the introduction and first public hearing on Charter Resolution number 155. Second, 2012 annexation and annexation resolution to amend the Charter of the City of Laurel by the addition thereto of section number 248 entitled Second, 2012 Annexation, providing for the annexation of all the land included within part of Lot 2, described in a deed dated February 19, 1969, by and between Carol L. Anderson and Cornelia E. Anderson, his wife, and the Presbyteria of Washington City, Inc., recorded among the land records of Prince George's County, Maryland, at Lieber, www3693, folio 480, in addition to part of Lot 3 and part of Lot 4, described in a deed dated February 15, 1966, between Earl H. Long and Virginia E. Long, his wife, and the trustees of the Presbytery of Washington City, recorded among the land records of Prince George's County, Maryland, and Lieber WWW 3281 folio 378 containing 4.3574 plus or minus total acres of land to be placed in the R55 zone. I've read the title into the record for the first reading. I'll open the public hearing at 730. I have one person signed up to speak, Mr. Taylor. Uh, uh, Madam President and members of the City Council, my name is B.J. Taylor and I am an elder at the Oakland's Presbyterian Church and I am here as a representative of Oakland's Presbyterian to answer any questions you may have concerning our request for annexation into the City of Laurel. I'd also like to mention that our interim minister, the Reverend Dr. Margie Eddings is here, as well as a couple members of our church. Um, for the past 45 years, Oakland's has been an active member of the community by providing services to the citizens of Laurel. We have offered a tutoring program to area elementary, middle, and high school students for more than 25 years. We are an active member of Lars, including serving on their board, providing an emergency shelter at our church, and participating in their various fundraisers. We have had an official food pantry for the area uh, for more than 15 years. In addition to offering non-perishable food, we are very excited this year that we will be offering fresh produce from a new garden that we planted there. Oakland's also fulfills a need in the community by offering much needed worship space for many faith communities. We currently have two African American and two Nigerian churches utilizing space at, at Oakland's. Uh, we want to again thank you, the city, for considering our request for annexation, and we look forward to working with you in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you. The public hearing of record is scheduled for Monday, July 23rd, 2012, at 7 p.m. Thank you for coming this evening. Agenda item number 15, the introduction and first public hearing on ordinance number 1744. Text Amendment Number 226, an ordinance to amend Chapter 20, Land Development and Subdivision, Article 1, Zoning Division 1 and General Division, uh, excuse me, in general, Division 5, Zoning Districts, District 6, Parking and Loading Facilities, Division 7, Signs and Advertising Structures, Division 9, Exceptions and Supplements to Zone Regulations, Division 10, Special Exceptions. Division 13, Historic District Commission. Article 2, Subdivisions. Division 5, Plans and Data. And Article 5, Forest Conservation and Providing an Effective Date. I've read the title into the record for the first reading. I'll open the public hearing at 733. I have no one signed up to speak. Is there anyone wishing to speak? Seeing no one, I'll close the public hearing at 7.33. The second public hearing with possible action will be held on Monday, July 9th, 2012 at 7 p.m. 
Agenda item number 16, introduction and first public hearing on ordinance number 1748, an ordinance to repeal and reenact with amendments, chapter 6, entitled Elections of the Laws of the City of Mar Laurel, Maryland. I've read the title into the record for the first reading. This was discussed at the June 6 work session. I'll open the public hearing at 734. I have no one signed up to speak. Is there anyone wishing to speak? I'll close the public hearing at 734. Discussion at the July 9th work session with a second public hearing at the regular meeting at 7 p.m. and a third public hearing with possible action on Monday, July 23rd, 2012 at 7 p.m. Agenda number 17 is the introduction and first public hearing on Charter Resolution number 156, a charter res resolution to amend the Article 600 entitled Registration and Elections of the Chapter of the City of Laurel by deleting certain sections and amending certain sections to provide for the orderly and timely election of the Mayor and City Council. I've read the title into the record for the first reading. This was discussed at the June 6 work session. I'll open the public hearing at 735. I have no one signed up to speak. Is there anyone wishing to speak? Seeing no one, I'll close the public hearing at 735. Discussion will be held at the July 9th work session with a second public hearing at the regular meeting at 7 o'clock. The third public hearing with possible action will be held on Monday, July 23rd, 2012 at 7 p.m. There being no further business to come before the council this evening, I know we all wish the mayor, who's a little under the weather tonight, a speedy recovery. And we're adjourned.